So here we are folks with match number 10, Costa Rica up against Serbia. And the starting eleven for Costa Rica is like this. Navas in goal, Oviedo, Salvatierra, Gamboa, Gonzalez, Borges, Guzman, Campbell, Benegas, Ruiz and Urina up front. As for Serbia, Stoichkovic in goal, Nastasic, Kolarov, Rukafina, Ivanovic, Vigesa, Tadic, Matic, Tosic, Mitrovic and Pavlovic up front. So here we are, match number 10, Costa Rica up against Serbia. And it looks like Serbia in their white jerseys. Uh, kick the match off, playing up against Costa Rica with their traditional red and blue. Um, Costa Rica coming off the back of a really successful 2014 World Cup where they made it to the quarterfinals, uh, upsetting the odds along the way and really uh, kick-starting the careers of Kayla Navas, who is in between the sticks. Costa Rica has got a move to Real Madrid uh, due to his success um, but this is gonna this is a pretty even match on paper uh, between these two sides and in fact when you look at group E which is where these two find themselves hang on a second as Serbia tries to open up a uh, good bit of possession goes out for a throw in after a rocket save by Keller Navas as they turn a strike once again uh, Costa Rica trying to find a way out of this mess, eventually get it past uh, into the Serbian half. And we have our first free kick of the match. It's played in nicely. Can they find a way through? Uh, but like I said, Group E get consists of also Brazil and Switzerland, Costa Rica and Serbia. It's a it's a pretty even group to be fair. Obviously, you'd expect Brazil to waltz through as Serbia take the lead. Just a minute and 20 seconds gone, and now Costa Rica have it all to do here. Pavić with the goal. Well, well, well. What 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 kind of game do we have on our hands here? Will Costa Rica? dig their heels in and grind themselves back into it or will Serbia run away with it but this match match number 10 in the real world will take place in the Cosmos Arena in Samara on the 17th of June um, but I, I, I feel that this group is evenly poised in regards to the second spot obviously on any given day any team can beat anybody so um but I expect over the course of three matches, Brazil will see it through, get enough points to get, get themselves through. As, and I also expect there could be champions of this group. As for the second spot, though, it's, it's up in the air as Costa Rica try to tease their way through. Um, but the uh, Serbian defender, or goalkeeper even, was, was full, of, full awake, wide awake. And he picked that out easy. And they come again. Here comes Serbia. Was broken up this time by Costa Rica. Now they can build on the left hand side. Uh, as they go, oh, another nasty foul. Should be a yellow, to be honest with you. And it is Tosic in the book because he was on his way. The uh, Costa Rican fellow was on his way down the left hand side. Here comes a free kick. It's pumped in once again. Great control by the Costa Rican fellow. As a, as. You may be aware if you've watched previous videos, there was no indicators to say who was who, so it's kind of hard uh, to tell each player apart. I've been butting my head against the wall trying to figure it out. But anyway, here comes Serbia once again, looking for a second goal, which probably would elip pretty much right off Costa Rica, but they can't find it. Goes out for a throw in. And again, just, to, just a quick reminder, if this is your first video, if you're unfamiliar with the setup, we do play two four-minute halves, and once again, Serbia take a strike at the Costa Rican goal with Navas between the sticks, but he is down to the ground and saves it. Here they come again. Been pretty impressive. Oh, that's a nasty foul. Again, he should go in the book for that one. But he doesn't. He gets away with that one, shockingly. So we're down to the last 50-odd seconds of this first half. It's been pretty entertaining. It's gone, gone by pretty fast. Obviously, Costa Rica would want a bit more time to try and get themselves back into it. See, uh, if you go in at halftime 1-0 down, the manager's going to be raging. But if you go in the level, 
I think it'll change the whole mood of the camp, and you probably expect Costa Rica to go on and win it. But right now, it's Serbia's to lose. Pumped forward, headed onward. No joy. Here come Costa Rica from the back, and it is running out of time at the moment. Half time is nearly upon us as we go into the last 10 or so seconds. Throw in, headed on. Costa Rica have to deal with it. Pumped forward once again, last five seconds before the halftime whistle. Serbia building on the left. Oh, that is a nasty looking uh, foul. And it's a free kick in a really dangerous position. You would fancy it. You would fancy Serbia to uh, have a crack here. Play short. Strikes in there. And it is a wonder strike. It is a beautiful goal. You hardly ever see goals from free kicks in this game. But we have one. We have one for the scrap. But goal of the month contender, goal of the tournament contender, whatever you want to call it. And the scorer is, once the graphic comes up, of course it is, Ivanovic. He knows how to. He's got a rocket of a peg. Obviously, we've seen it here, right here, right now. But it's Serbia 2, Costa Rica 0. And halftime is just about here. And I expect the Costa Rica manager will be livid. And there it is. So here we are, folks, with the second half. And Costa Rica staring defeat. Uh, in the face here so they need to get themselves a nice early goal if they're going to try and get themselves back into it otherwise um, they will they will be unable to to capitalize on it. anyway here they come once again it's a nice slick passing but they just they lack that last ball the last touch is what's what's lacking for them they do rely heavily on the likes of Joel Campbell, who does not get much first in football in regards for Arsenal. Um, obviously, they've got a cracking goalkeeper in Kayla Navas, um, and Brian Ruiz is getting on a bit. Um, so, those players, experienced that they are from the last tournament, they're not going to be enough, I'm afraid, for, for Costa Rica in this tournament. So, I expect them in the real world, not in this tournament or this simulation here, but in the real world, I expect them, when I think about it, that they will probably struggle but what they do have on their on their side is the camaraderie the uh the, the familiarity of, of of a lot of the players because a lot of them have been there last last time as costa rica try to battle away and get a shot on it but no joy here comes serbia now in cruise control at the moment pumped forward headed on but it's eventually cleared up by the defense of costa rica and again, they try to build on this left-hand side, punted long for, to, for his attack at a chase. And it's no business there, no mucking about by Serbia. They just got rid of it. It goes out for a corner. The crowd are roaring. Can the Costa Ricans find their way back into this? It's pumped in there. Headed on towards goal, and it goes out for a goal kick. So, these two sides have never met in... Uh, prior to this fixture so um, the winner of this will be obviously have a 100% clean record up against the opposition and it's the games like this that you're going to have to win if, if your group includes a heavyweight such as Brazil, Argentina, Spain, France um, you know you, you've got to win up against teams in and around you who have who are looking at that second spot as Costa Rica really giving it a go in the second half, but they haven't got the breakthrough just yet. But a lot of groups are like that. They are top heavy with one team that's expected to run away with it, and the rest of them are uh, pretty, you know, even. Look at let's take a look at Group D for example with Argentina. You'd expect Argentina to go through. Second place is toss up. As for Group C, France walk away with it. Then you're looking at maybe Denmark. Well, again, it's a toss-up between Denmark, Peru, Australia. Then we look at Group B. This is a real stinker of a one. Two major heavyweights. I expect them both to go through one way or another. Spain and Portugal with uh, Morocco, Iran kind of in there to upset the odds a little bit. Then Group A, is, I feel, is wide open with Russia, Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Uruguay. Russia probably favourites because of the home, home fans. And then you kick on down to Group F. Germany expected to walk away with it uh, and then it's a toss up with the rest of the three then the G including pa Belgium and England you expect Belgium to walk away with it England possibly should 
feel comfortable with that second spot. You know, but you never know with England. And Group H, I think Poland will walk away with it. And the rest of the side, Senegal, Colombia, Japan, will be scrapping it out for that second spot. But we're here in Group E. And it's Serbia in cruise control at the moment. Costa Rica, full credit to them. They've, they've given it all in the second half. And I wouldn't be surprised if they've had more shots on target than Serbia once we get to the statistics uh, in not long, in about 20 seconds or so. And that ball is just kept in play. But it eventually does go out for a throw in for Costa Rica. But I think it's too little too late. Serbia will be happy about this. This is a massive result. Costa Rica will now look to try and upset the odds uh, and beat Brazil or try and get a point off Brazil to give themselves hope of qualifying for the second round. But it does not look likely. Anyway, we're into time added on. The Serbians are already in party mood. Costa Rica fans are drowning their sorrows. And there you have it, folks. Costa Rica nil, Serbia 2. So, quick look at the statistics. Look like this. It's actually two shots uh, for Costa Rica. Three for Serbia. Obviously, two were in the back of the net. Uh, Serbia did have more possession in the attacking half as did uh, compared to Costa Rica. As for the scores, Braslav Ivanovic got the second from Perl from a free kick. Pavlovic got the opener. One minute, 20 seconds. As for discipline, a couple of players in the books. Gonzalez for Costa Rica. Tosic for Serbia. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.